This is Hester. And this is Maria. And together we are... The, the Concert Counselors! Today we continue with our tips to play the large recorders. We often talk about airstream, but we find this so important that we're going to do it again. Your mouth position is very important because it influences the way our air flows into our instrument. And for the bigger instruments, we need to be economic to make the phrases. What we sometimes call cold air is actually a very economic airstream, which is thin and fast and feels cold on your hand. And what we call warm air is a slow airstream and it is not so economic. To be very economic, also on the big instruments, the best thing you can do is use a very thin and fast stream of air that's going to save you a lot of energy. to play these big pipes as if you are holding an alto in your hand, for example. And this is maybe the goal you want to achieve, that it feels so comfortable and so light that it seems you have a smaller instrument in your hand. A tip is to think in horizontal lines when you are playing, as if you are shooting little arrows. <laughs> With a thin airstream and thinking about horizontal stripes and lines and maybe arrows, we can imagine that we are a bee buzzing around rather than elephants. In episode 17 we spoke a lot about breathing and today we also want to speak about breathing but focusing on a different aspect of it. Namely, when you play large instruments you need to sell your breathing well. Sometimes we wish we had endless breath. For example, to play this Handel fugue that we just showed you, the lines are actually quite long. But the beauty of our instrument is the breathing that belongs to it. Inhalation belongs to the phrasing and it should never disturb the lines. And inhalation is actually also an expressive tool to show your feelings and emotions within the phrasing. Of course, we try to make as long lines as we possibly can. But if we really need to, with large instruments, we can easily sneak some small breathings in and no one will really notice them. Let's take breath at least one time in every bar without disturbing the music. And if there's a chance, even more often. exercise that you can do on your own or together is to try and sneak in as many breathings as possible in the piece you are playing without disturbing the flow and your musical intentions. Let's see how Hester can cope with this. <laughs> For this exercise is don't breathe too late rather shorten the note a little bit so that you are in time on the next beat and also so that your inhalation doesn't sound stressed our intuition when it comes to big instruments is that all our movements and also our articulation our breathing everything should be made larger as well however strangely enough it is a much better policy to think smaller when you play bigger instruments. 
As for articulation, the tip of your tongue should be rather quick and pointy so that you can get an elegant articulation. What you should focus the most in is to avoid any movements in the mouth or to let the jaw calm down. This will make the air slow and the articulation less clear. what the tallest recorder in the world is. This is the subcontrabass recorder in B-flat made by Adriana Breuking, Paul Einouts and Winfried Hackel. There are two great videos about this instrument that you can check out. One was made by Daniel Bruggen and it features Karel van Steenhoven playing on the instrument. The second one is a video by Sarah Jeffrey and Team Recorder and features Hester Groenleer. Check out the links in the video description below. Happy watching! See you next time! Bye!